We talked with a Cuban-American physician about the Cuban relations and the Pope visiting the U U.S. and Cuba and how that affects families both here and there. Dr. Gracie Pozo Christie is policy advisor for the Catholic Association, a medical doctor, and has a large family. Your experience here at the World Meeting of Families, what kind of hope does that give you for the family and specifically Catholic families here in America? You know, the encouragement is, is huge here because the enthusiasm is amazing in a time when sometimes one despairs that the family is almost over, that whole project is over, because there's so many things that are batter, uh, battering the family. But the enthusiasm here is fabulous, and there's so many people that are so devoted to preserving that institution. Hispanic Americans must be really lifted up by the message that Pope Francis brings us. It's so beautiful to hear him speak in our language, and he has these accents um, and the way he says things that they go directly to our hearts in the most beautiful way. I feel very sorry for people that aren't, don't have that uh, language so they can share that with him. And he does, he speaks directly to us, um, like our fathers speak to us or our grandfathers, and, and he knows that he knows our needs and he knows uh, the things that we suffer, and we can feel that in him. On his way to America, he made a four-day stop in Cuba. Your parents come from Cuba, and I know you're very close to the people there. Do you think that his visit there will help the Cuban people? I have every hope that it will. As a Cuban, uh, an exile, it was very difficult to watch the Pope in Cuba because it took all of our faith and all of our hope um, to watch him be uh, merciful and open to people, the dictators, whose hearts have been closed for so many decades. You know, people we've been praying will finally loosen their hold on these, on our, on our, on our brothers and sisters who, who don't deserve that kind of life that they give them. Um, but I, I do believe that it's going to be uh, successful, that the final fruit of his trip will be successful. And, to, and earlier at the UN, he spoke about something that's, uh, that means something to Cubans, that they should be allowed to be the dignified agents of their own destiny. All people should have that, even Cubans. So that speech to the UN and all of his talks and homilies, he's really uplifted the family, and especially here at the World Meeting of Families. What do we take from this as we move forward as not only individual families, but as the family of the church? That the individual family is the foundational, the foundational part of the church and of all society and of our entire human civilization. And there can't be enough care, uh, whether pastoral or economic or social care of the family. We can't take enough care of it because it's, it's our future and it's everything that's beautiful about us. Well, our best to your beautiful family, and thank you for joining us on EWTN News Nightly. Dr. Gracie Pozo Christie, thank you. Thank you.